the river and the pebble. The river, ever flowing, gurgled its way through the valley, carrying with it leaves, twigs, and the occasional lost toy. As it flowed, it encountered a small, smooth pebble nestled in its path. Move aside, little one, the river boomed. I must continue my journey. But the pebble, stubborn and proud, held its ground. I will not move, it declared. I have been here for years, and I will not budge for anyone. The river, surprised by the pebble's boldness, chuckled. You are but a tiny pebble, and I am the mighty river. I can easily sweep you away. But the pebble remained unmoved. You may be strong, river, it said, but I am strong too. I have endured the sun's heat and the rain's fury. I will not be easily swept away. The river, amused by the pebble's defiance, decided to teach it a lesson. It gathered its strength and surged forward, crashing against the pebble with all its might. The pebble, battered and bruised, was pushed downstream, rolling and tumbling over rocks and through rapids. It felt small and insignificant, its pride shattered. After a long journey, the river deposited the pebble on a sandy beach. Exhausted and humbled, the pebble lay there, reflecting on its encounter with the river. I was foolish to think I could resist the river's flow, the pebble admitted. I should have listened and moved aside. As the sun warmed the sand, the pebble began to feel its smooth surface becoming rougher. It realized that the river, in its relentless flow, had polished it, making it stronger and more beautiful than before. From that day on, the pebble no longer resisted the river's flow. It embraced the journey, learning and growing with each passing day. Moral. Sometimes, resistance to change can be harmful. It is important to be flexible and adapt to the ever-changing currents of life. Just like the river, life will inevitably push us and mold us. By surrendering to the flow, we can become stronger, more resilient, and ultimately, more beautiful.